Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be testing the Poco F4 GT Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is in here. When I did a, uh, a CPU throttling test a while back, this did a struggle for some reason. Don't know why, overheating or whatever. Uh, but now, today, I'm going to be doing a 15 minute test, just like before, with 20 threads. You can see there 20 threads. 15 minute test. I'm going to do that without the cooling capabilities of this. Then after this phone has settled down and got to a sort of a normal temperature, I'll then chuck it into this while the cooling technology is, is on. I'll plug it in and I'll do another CPU throttling test while this thing is cooling the Poco F4 GT. I want to see what sort of results we get, how much it throttles or doesn't throttle and so I've got this trusty thermometer thing here as well, a laser thermometer. What are we getting on this at the moment? So I've got to do it sort of in the center there. So 33.8. 33.8, right, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Poco F4 GT CPU throttling test, go. Okay, so we're nine minutes in to the test and you can see absolutely throttling, throttling really bad. What I'm just going to do here quickly while it's doing that is I'm going to turn this on. I'll give this controller enough time to cool down, get to a nice frosty and freezing cold temperature. Six more minutes left of the test. Okay, approaching the end of the test. Call them red and yellow bars. A real throttled device. We go 15 minutes. Quickly do a temperature uh, uh, check. We are 42.6, 42.4. Starting to go now down now, obviously, because the test is finished. But the highest there was 42.6 Celsius on this. Let's feel how hot it is. It does feel hot. Definitely feels hot. So let's take a look at some of these numbers then. The maximum performance, 271,000 GIPS, an average of 195,000 with a minimum of 159,000. Let's do a screen capture so don't forget that. Because uh, obviously once this has got to, well I suppose it's quite cold now actually, I'll have a look in a minute. But obviously this phone needs to calm down a little bit now, we need to bring the temperature down on that. Um, but yeah, that absolutely throttled. So I'm interested to see. I mean, technically it should, it should bring that down. What do you think? Anyway, let's have a look at what temperatures we've got on this, the base here. That feels nice and chilly. Look at that, seven, I suppose eight point, 7.5. 7.5 Celsius there, 7.6. It's cold. <laughs> oh, so I'll put that away because block the fan. Seven Celsius, okay. Now, what time is it? It's 20 past two. So I might give this 10 minutes to cool down and then we'll come back and do another test. Okay, so the time is, well, it's nearly half two, nearly 10 minutes. Let's see what temperature we're at. 32, 33. Yeah, come down dramatically. And obviously it's gonna come down even more dramatically 
when it hits this gamepad cooler or cooling gamepad what we got here 7.1 there so it's about seven celsius we are going to sit this in here So, right, we're in. <laughs> now, I need to wedge this up a little bit because the fan at the bottom. So I'm hoping I can do that with this and this. So we can all see what's going on still. Okay, so the controller was at seven Celsius. So make sure this is right. Cool. Thought of what temperatures we're getting through the phone 32.2 there at the moment so the temperature has come down here we go this might be a complete waste of time but the options again 20 threads over 15 minutes um, let's start the test and see how we get on boom There you go guys, nearing the end of the test. 30 seconds left. You can see clearly much better performance, less sort of CPU throttling. There's no red bars you can see there. This is green, mainly green and bits of yellow. Put it side by side, you can tell the difference quite dramatically really. Let's wait for this performance gips as well. There we go. So look, huge. Huge improvement. Let's bring that closer to the camera. In terms of the numbers there, brilliant. 279,000 max, 245,000 average, and minimum 203,000. So it didn't drop below that. If you remember on the other previous test, it was in the red. So hats off to the GameSir X3 gaming controller let's have a little test of um, temperature what we are 37.4.3 there yeah and 37 is not expected around about 40 sort of over 40 Celsius really on the uh, on this it was before on the previous test uh, so yeah that was um, a quite a fun test let me um, is out. Oh, oh wow, look. It's a bit of condensation there. Look, sweating. <laughs> bit of water. Uh, let's scan the back of that. That's 28.8 or 29 there. 30, 29. Cool. Oh, I'm laying that on its back. But yeah, look, a little bit of uh, condensation coming in there. Let's take that out. And that was obviously seven Celsius, it's chilliest. Uh, but it's obviously warmed up a bit now, it's gonna get warmer now. Okay, so if you wanna keep your phone cool, especially when gaming, this controller definitely works. It reduces CPU throttling, no end. Uh, a huge, huge improvement there compared to the previous test. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is a super hot chip as well, so. You can buy smaller sort of coolers, can't you? I've seen them on the market, which just clip onto the side there. They're not as big bulky gaming controllers. So you'd, if you just want cooling capabilities, um, you can get that as well. So yeah, that was a nice test. I enjoyed doing that. Any questions, pop them down below. What are your thoughts on this test? It was pretty cool. Obviously, scientifically, that should have happened anyway, I think. So uh, yeah, but that was interesting. Thank you very much for watching, guys. 
If you've liked this video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.